We are gearing up for the 4th of July and this year's holiday travel is expected to break records. So here to give us some tips on how to handle all of this hustle and bustle is Jaina Tidwell from AAA. Good morning. Good morning, Deja. How are you? I am wonderful. We are excited for the holiday, but travelers, of course, some people are going to be driving, some people are going to be flying. But talk to us about some of the trends for this holiday that we're expecting. For the first time ever, AAA is looking at an extended July 4th holiday travel period. Uh, that means travel, for the most part, began this past Saturday and will go through this coming Sunday, a nine-day holiday period. And with that, we're expecting record travel volume. As is always the case for the July 4th holiday weekend and any other major travel holiday, traveling by car will be the most popular mode of transportation, with 83% of local travelers traveling by car. That means an extra 809,000 Philadelphia area residents taking to the roads to travel for July 4th. Oh my goodness, busy, busy. So with all those folks who are hitting the roadways, what are the busiest travel times? So a lot of us like to avoid that rush. If you have the ability to travel during off peak times, I highly recommend that you do it. And when I say off peak, I mean early in the morning over the next couple of days or later after the PM rush. The biggest busiest times out there on the roadways will be Tuesday and Wednesday between 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. That's when we will see commuters mixing with holiday weekend travelers. So avoiding those times will save you from wasting additional time in your car and also help you maximize that tank of gas. <laughs> Definitely some good advice there. We know a lot of people do plan for those times. Uh, what road trip tips do you have for people who are hitting the roads and maybe loading up the entire family? In addition to considering off-peak travel, uh, we definitely recommend that if you have the opportunity to have your vehicle checked out, meaning having the battery checked for maximum strength because the heat that we've seen in recent days will drain your car battery. You wanna make sure that that is operating uh, fully and functionally for you. Have the tires checked, not just the tire pressure, but the tread depth on the tires. Pack that vehicle emergency kit for the summer months. Include in that all of the usuals, jumper cables, first aid kit, but also additional bottles of water and some non-perishable snack foods. Uh, anything that you might need for your children, anyone who is elderly and taking regular medication, and for your pets. Uh, make sure you have that with you as well. Yeah, that's some great advice. Now that leads me into the next question, which is how can people exactly stay safe in high volume traffic since we are going to see so many people out there? The challenge of more people out there on the roadways means we have an increased risk of vehicle crashes. So if you're planning to hit the road, whether it's to go around the corner or to head down to the shore, you want to make sure that you obey all of the traffic rules. Please drive the posted speed limit. If you are stuck in traffic, you want to make sure that you're paying attention, that you're leaving adequate following distance so that you can react accordingly if traffic starts to move or stops suddenly. You want to make sure that you limit Limit all distractions, put the phone down, um, minimize anything that takes your eyes off the wheel in front of you. And AAA wants everyone to have a festive and fun 4th of July, but we also urge everyone to never, ever drive impaired. Make sure you have a designated driver or you have an alternate way to get home if you choose to indulge in alcohol. Great advice there, and as you mentioned, 83% of people are going to be hitting the roadways for the 4th of July. Is there a place that people can go for more information? Absolutely. You can always come visit us at AAAAAA.com.